Well, good morning. Uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick video today, uh, just on uh, uh, calibrating or at least doing the performance uh, checks for my uh, 432A uh, power meter. Uh, I just got uh, this guy back from uh, Keysight where they had uh, uh, tested it and adjusted it and calibrated it. And then I've got my uh, two uh, sensors back from them as well. Uh, so what I want to do is I've got uh, several of these power meters uh, here. So I thought it would be cheaper for me to get the calibrator calibrated and then do the, the checks on the power meters myself. And uh, I also have my uh, 3458A uh, back that's uh, been calibrated as well. So these have been running for about uh, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, I think, yeah, about 48 hours. Um, and so now we're ready to uh, work our way through the uh, checklist. Okay, so the, the first thing we want to do is do a meter accuracy test. And what this is going to, to check is basically it's going to see where the, um, the meter needle is in terms of the actual scale here. And it's gonna tell me what uh, the output is. Now, I have the 3458A here uh, connected uh, up so that it's reading the recorder information that's coming out of the back of the 432A. And that uh, recorder information is a zero to one volt, depending upon where in the meter scale uh, the needle is. So the first thing we need to do is just uh, set up our calibrator. Want to set that to 0.01, yep. Want to set uh, that to 200, which is the um, mount resistance. And then we're going to set uh, zero test to zero, okay. On the 432A, we got uh, 200 here, yep. We're going to do uh, one milliwatt range, 0.1 milliwatt range. Okay, so that turned on, and uh, calibration factor should be 100. Okay, now we need to adjust uh, the zero knob here until uh, we get uh, zero volts plus or minus two millivolts. So let's go and uh, do that. Ooh. We'll keep going down. Ideally, you'd want to be as close to zero as you can get and there we go, we're at zero millivolts, plus or minus two. All right, so now that we've done that, what we can do is we can now start um, moving our way through the various ranges and uh, test them. So we want to switch this to test. And uh, want to set uh, this guy to 0.1. And so now let's uh, just zoom in so that we can see the uh, meter here. Yep. And uh, what we're seeing, we're supposed to get uh, 1,000 millivolt, uh, plus or minus 10 volts, uh, 10 millivolts. So as we can see here, we're getting, you know, 997 millivolts. That's in range. And then we're supposed to be here on a one, plus or minus half a... Uh, half an actual uh, deviation. So I'm getting half a deviation there. So overall, we'll uh, declare that uh, good. So now we step up. Oh, let me write this down. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So I'm getting, and I'm getting like maybe a quarter of a deviation. There. All right, so now let's step it up to 0.3. And now on point three, I should be uh, somewhere between 938 and 958 uh, millivolts. And there's a point eight there. So we can see that we're in that span there. And if we look over here, we can see that we're pretty much bang on three. So we'll call that 947 and zero. And now we go up to point one. And that's looking like 998. And then let's go up to the final one. Give it a chance to settle in. 
0997 and yeah, zero. All right, so there we go. We've had uh, gone through the first set of uh, results and we're in spec uh, with uh, regards to the meter accuracy. So that's pretty nice. Uh, what this means is that there's no need to, for me to go in and, and adjust it uh, because it's actually uh, acting as you would expect. Now, yeah, theoretically, you could go in and some of these things here where there was like little deviations, you could tune it. But given that the meter needle is basically zero for pretty much all of it except uh, the minus 20 dBm uh, range, uh, I'm going to leave that as okay. So now let's go and do uh, the calibration factor test. So to do that, what we're going to do is set um, this guy to 0.1 millivolts. We'll set this guy to uh, 0.1 millivolts as well. Uh, we're going to set the cal factor here to 88. Okay, so now for this guy, you know, we want that to be at 88. We're going to 0.1 200. Okay, we're good there. We want 0.1, 200, and then test here. And then we want to get this guy as close to one volt as we can, plus or minus two millivolt again. So let's go drag that down. And we're getting very close. There we go, one volt, plus or minus two millivolts. Okay, so now we're basically going to go through uh, each of the calibration settings and make sure that um, we're reading uh, 1,000 millivolt, or we're going to read uh, close to what uh, that one volt should be as we go up and down. So let's go do one here, and then that's... 990, and then we're going to do another one, and that's going to be 979, and then I'm just going to keep going through these. Okay, well, now that we've fixed, finished there, we've got... Uh, our data and again we're pretty close to the middle of the range on this now what's going on here is basically this calibration factor is going to step down uh, the uh, step up the voltage as you go down so you know when we're at say 100% what we're reading on the thermistor mount is exactly what um, uh, we're going to display on the meter and then as we step down that's typically done for as you move up and down the frequency uh, uh, scale for the, the mister mount so that you can actually pick up uh, the different frequencies uh, on there. So that's uh, pretty good. Let's take a look at the, the next test. Okay. Let me get this sorted out. Okay, so we want to do meter linearity now. And so basically that's going to tell us that we're correctly being linear across the range of our meter. So set that to 1 milliwatt. Function 200, yep. And test. We can set this to 3 milliwatts. Uh, mount resistance 200. Okay, so now we should be uh, indicating uh, one milliwatt. And we're seeing one milliwatt there. So that's zero uh, points off. And then when we go to two, we should be seeing two. And you can see we're pretty damn close there at two. So I'll call that like zero effectively as well. And then when we go to three, we should see three. And we're going to see very close to three there as well. So that's uh, looking all good uh, there. Uh, 
um, find zero. Set the 3 2 to uh, 0.3 milliwatts. And then I'm supposed to connect uh, the thermistor mount. I am. So let's disconnect this guy here. And this is my uh, thermistor mount that I've just gotten back from, uh, from Keysight. So uh, this one's an H76. So the actual uh, frequency range on this only goes up to one gigahertz. But the whole point of uh, having the H76 modifier is that uh, what it does is it gives you a, um, uh, it gives you a known, a very uh, low SWR at 50 megahertz and enables you to actually go and set uh, the power reference on the power meters, like the 432, 438, 435, that sort of thing, that uh, 89 or 28 and so on, that power reference, because those meters are open circuit uh, meters, whereas this is a closed circuit. So you want to have the ability to set that reference to be very accurate. And this will get us into under 0.07% uh, um, uh, value. So let's go. We, so we plug that in. Uh, do, do, do. And then it says um, well, mount resistance that corresponds. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to depress fine zero and then we're going to turn counterclockwise until the meter will no longer zero. Okay. So now we're going to set it to full scale on the 0.3 milliwatt. So that's it there. Scroll. So that's the zero to three scale that we're setting, not the zero to one. Okay. Okay, so now we should be able to and the meter should indicate below two on the zero to three, which we do, so, so we should record that. And that is 1.8. Yeah. Uh, 1.75. Okay. Okay, so now it should be in the center of its range because find zero uh, electronically base, it tries to get us uh, to zero volts. So that should be 1.5 plus a half of the previous reading. So half of the previous reading was 1.75. So that's 0.5. Uh, one and a half plus 875 is going to be 2375. Uh, and that's, yeah, it's a little over half its uh, scale. But given that it actually zeroes, uh, I don't think that's uh, terribly bad. So we didn't do the zero carryover. Uh, I'm not terribly worried about that, but there you go. That's just a, a quick example of using the uh, 8477A calibrator to calibrate or at least do a uh, performance measurement on a 432A uh, power meter. If you found that interesting, give me a thumbs up in the, uh, uh, the video and I'll catch you again later.